Hey there, welcome to today's show. Today we're hunting with Alter McCall in the Pisgah National Forest. Beautiful morning, turkeys are gobbling. Let's see what happens. What do you think, Alter? Okay, so we met up with Arthur about 4.30 in the morning. We ride out an hour into the National Forest. Uh, on this particular hunt, it's about an hour, and a, hour hike in or so, uh, about three miles. So we hike in in the dark, we set up on a ridge top, and we're listening both ways for a goblin. We have one goblin down, down in a pretty big holler down the way, so we call Arthur up real quick, and, and we scurry on down the mountain and we get set up. Beautiful morning, he's just started gobbling. Here's what happens. Okay, so we get set up. He's still gobbling on the roof. We do a flat down call with the wings and flat down cat. He can't stand it, he's gobbling his head off. Yeah, the clear shot. Okay, so this gobbler is just now getting into gun range. Arthur's staying on him. You know, we're kind of communicating about what, you know, 30, 40 yards would be. Um, generally speaking, we don't shoot him over 40 yards. Um, you know, you get on out to 50 yards, I mean, sure, there's a chance he'll go down, but it's not a definite kill. If we can get him inside of 40 yards and have a good, solid rest on our shot, that's a dead turkey. Wait for him to go behind a tree if you gotta move. Oh man, that was exciting. <laughs> awesome. 
Yeah, you had good patience there, man. You did good. <laughs> For a second there, I was worried I couldn't <laughs> spot him. After I got looking through the scope. I saw you bobbing and weaving a little bit. <laughs> yes. He let off some good gobbles right here besides, didn't he? Oh, man, that was awesome. <laughs> All right, well, this, uh, he's probably done for this. Let's take a look at his beard here, Arthur. Pick, pick him up. Yeah, let's play around a 10 inch beard, looks like. Ooh. Let's lay him down, look at his spurs. Mm, three quarter inch. And yeah, we hiked way in, hiked all along the side of this mountain. I don't know, pretty good ways. What do you think, like, mile? About, about three and a half from the truck, I'd say. Three miles, maybe. Oh, wow. Well, <laughs> that was pretty cool. Yeah, we got up here, sun was coming up, and then heard him. We sat up that way. Up there at the top of the mountain. Heard him gobble a little bit and then made our way down here. He was roosted over there, right on the side of that mountain, I guess. And then he flew down, called some, and he kind of got quiet for a little bit. Instead of coming up this way, he walked around some, came up from that direction. That's a good little tip. Remember that, Arthur, that you know, if they're gobbling and all of a sudden they get quiet, they're generally coming. That's a real good sign that they're coming. Yep, and then he came up a little too close, I guess. A little too close <laughs> for good. <laughs> uh, congratulations, everybody. Oh, man, thank you. Woo! Just take a second to thank Arthur McCall for coming with us on the hunt, as well as the National Wild Turkey Federation and the Pisgah Ranger District for the opportunity to hunt these magnificent birds in the National Forest of North Carolina. Till next time.